Okay, it's running. I am bitter about the king, mark my words. Not just because he came down to England and enjoyed sacrificing my own flesh and blood to save his own skin. No, that burns too deeply still. No wonder he can't even cure the scrofula. He's turned out to be a wily devil, mark my words. He came this way, by this way I mean to York. Our Elizabeth was still living there at the time and she said there was such a hair-making made to welcome the new king. We'd left by then. Gosh, I can't remember it. my own flesh and blood, blood to save his skin but because he's proved to be such a wily devil no wonder he can't even cure the scrofula all that made such a hair making when he came by this way that mean by York while Elizabeth was still living that way then and they were just so welcoming of him and I knew that he would have a better time because he was, we thought, we hoped, he would be inclined to leniency. There were letters to and from the young priest and even the Holy Father himself sent missives. You see, we had hope then. We had hope that he would remember the Catholics, that he would remember us that we had ridden out for his mother, for his mother Mary, Mary, Queen of the Scots, Mary, the Catholic Queen of the Scots, and that we would be saved by a Protestant king. Well, even I dared to hope at that time, dared to have the expectation of a better life. You see, in his first year, he ceased the recusancy fines. Oh, that was such a saving. No more having to pay them fines. No more having to go to their churches, their cold, cold churches, without a statue of Mary, our, our holy mother, and listening to their cold sermons. Do you know they have a, a Bible, an English Bible? I mean, a Bible written in English. Where's the sanctity in that? But he soon proved himself for what he is. A cunning devil. Less than a year after he was crowned, oh, he chewed that he was a snake, a snake hiding in the long grass, basking in the sunshine of an English crown. Not a year after, them recusancy fines were brought back up and they were piled much, much higher. And he instructed all the bishops to seek out in the big houses, in the busy cities, in the market squares of the towns, to look out for the treacherous, the traitors, the disloyal Catholics, us. Oh, it was a bitter blow, cast down from all hope into despair. 
No wonder. No wonder the young men turned to action. This was the drum call that ignited the fire in their bellies. This was the roll, the roll call that would bring them and they would act and it would be the young Catholic men of England that would reclaim this country. Even I can still be carried away with such high and mighty thoughts, but I know now it will never happen. Do not miscomprehend me. I knew nothing, nothing of their planning. Why should I? A loyal wife quartered in Lairsborough, why should I know anything of their thoughts and their plans? Yes, I knew he was in Flanders. Yes, I knew he had met Jack and Kit Wright, Christopher as was baptised. And I knew of the letters and of the visit to Splain, but I knew nothing about the other plans. That'll do? Will that do? Yeah. That was fantastic. I thought you were 